What's going on, everybody? Just a little two-card mail week. Nothing real crazy. One was a whatnot pickup. The other, as you see in the description, a Topps Redemption has come in. And we'll talk a little bit about it. Um, really surprised how they ship over a $1,000 card. But hey, but actually, always looking for different stuff to get peaked on. Alrighty, starting it off. This I got off of uh, Sappy, off of Whatnot. So there's a Pop 2. I now own two. This is the other Sam Howell, uh, PSA 10, Blue Prism Rookie. Just like the Blues, always have. Uh, used to actually collect all the Blue Prisms. And then I guess others got the same idea and it started hyping up. Yes, you see painter's tape on my finger because basically I took the fingernail when I was out trimming my tree and it pulled the whole way back and broke it like a quarter off. So, yeah, it looks kind of ugly. I'd rather the painter's tape on. No, I don't have Band-Aids. So... Yep, pick this up. Uh, gonna go and hold it for the season, see what happens with them. It's relatively, a, you know, a cheaper move uh, just to try to move something. As you guys can see, it don't matter. You guys see the address. It's the Fort Knox P.O. Box, anyhow. Fulfillment Center, which is out of Washington for Topps Fanatics. A thousand dollar card set in a bubble mailer, FedEx ground. I think it's been trampled on. I think the condition's going to be good. One of the reasons why we're opening it live, just for this fact, is if there's any damage to it, I have video proof of how it arrived and how they uh, actually cared for sending a big card out, in my opinion. Uh, I believe these redemptions were anywhere from $1,300 to $1,800. You guys that have been watching the channel know what it is. I'm trying to see which end to pull here. You know, we're just going to go down the side here. Oh, it's in the second bubble mailer. Hey, they didn't cut any expenses here. Oh, I'm not liking this. I'm really not liking the way they ship this. Full invoice, one card. Target ship date was the 4th. They notified me, oh, probably about a week beforehand. Uh, delivery a little bit quicker. I mean, trust me, they really didn't even want to do a two-day shipment. Wembyama. Bowman U. Rookie Auto. If I can get the show right, I'll take it out of this. It's just looking too crazy here. Rushed. Look at that. It says rushed. Yeah, it was really rushed. There you go. The big hype since LeBron James. Wembyama. Overall centering left and right. Uh, I'm hoping it, it, when it. My initial thoughts this was please let it be a nine when I get this. <laughs> um, going to have it looked over by someone other than me that might have a, like, a little bit better or different opinion because I like to look at these and really go nuts on to them. But I got one, like I said, to, you know, I saw it live, picked it up. It was like woohoo type deal. At least they put it in the sleeve. I mean, saying nothing's really changed with Tops. Uh, well, with Tops now, Fanatics has picked it up. Shipping. I would say let's just call it a thirteen hundred dollar card like this and two bubble mailers is just unsat. They should have had this already in a like boxed up coming. But just not really happy the way they shipped it. Thank God it wasn't a thick card because they really pinched Yeah. Happy it came in though. Happy it came in. Get it looked over. Hopefully it comes back PSA nine. Gonna cost a little bit of money on that. He's just one of those cards where I'm just gonna hold it. I got very little into it. Maybe in five, ten years. You know, it's worth a good chunk. Maybe it's not. Maybe there's a hype train comes in. I don't know. Oh, I had to take some water in. Sorry about that. But uh, I didn't want to restart the video over at all. But other than that, that's it. Two-card mail week. Be on the lookout. PSA reveal coming up in the next video.